Hi guys, this is Big Fear from Big Fear TV. Once again, I'm back to another video. This time, I'm going to be comparing the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro to my two favorite true wireless earbuds, the Sennheiser Momentum 2 and the Sony WF-1000XM3. The Sony and the Sennheiser, I've been using them for more than five months, but the Galaxy Buds Pro just five days now. And for these five days, I decided to use just the Galaxy Buds Pro every day so that I can really find out how good this earbud is. So in this video, I'm going to compare everything about these three earbuds right here. Their price, their design, their sizes, their charging case, the noise cancelling, the sound quality, everything. So stay tuned to the end because it's really going to be a good one. I'm going to start this video by talking about the prices of these three true wireless earbuds. The Sony, which is the oldest here because it was released back in uh, August 2019 and the price back then was 230 US dollars when it was released. Right now you can pick it up for probably like 176 US dollars on Amazon. The price has dropped so much. So this is the best time to buy the Sony WF-1000XM3 because the price have dropped really good and it is a great earbud. We're going to talk about that more in the video. For the Sennheiser, which is also old, almost like uh, I think it was released back in April 2020 and the price back then was 300 US dollars. Even right now the price is still 300 US dollars. About three or four months ago, Sennheiser reduced the price to 270 but I check it right now on Amazon and back even on the Sennheiser website, the price has gone up again. It's gone up to back to 300 US dollars. I don't know why. Maybe because there's a high demand for this earbud. Maybe because a lot of people love it. I don't know. You guys, please let me know. What do you guys think about this Sennheiser Momentum 2? I mean, the price has gone back up again to 300 US dollars. I don't understand why. I was so surprised when I was trying to do this video. I decided to check the price and I saw that the price have gone up from 270 back to 300. So if you guys have an idea why, let me know down in the comment section, please. And the Galaxy Buds Pro is the most recent earbud here. It was released in January 2021. The price is 199 I mean, 200 US dollars. So it's still the cheapest because the fact that it's very new, recent uh, earbud, but the price is just 200 US dollars. The Sony was released for the price of 230 which is much cheaper now. The Sennheiser back 300 now still 300 euros to dollars so we have if you're trying to look for the cheapest the sony wf 1000 xm3 is going to be the best value for your money because it's much cheaper right now because it's very old it's an old uh, earbud and the galaxy Buds pro is your second 200 euros dollars and now let's talk about the design of these three true wireless earbuds they are completely different when it comes to the design the sony looks completely different the Sennheiser looks more traditional, like it looks like how most traditional earbuds looks like. It looks very simple. The Galaxy Buds Pro also look completely different. And it's round, almost like round, and it has this glossy top. But when it comes to fit, how they fit in the ear, I'm gonna say the Galaxy Buds Pro is the best because it fits so good in the ear. I mean, like, wow, it never fall off. I took this thing to the gym two days ago and it doesn't move. I was doing bench press, high jump, running on a stretch me. Everything I did, it never moved. Like even an inch, that's amazing. It fits so good. The second one that fits good also is Sennheiser. Sennheiser fit okay, but if you're doing a lot of Moving, moving like a lot of uh, uh, different type of exercises. The Sennheiser is going to move a little bit. It's going to require you sometimes to fit them back in your ears. Sony is the worst. It's the worst earbud to use for exercise or use in the gym because of the size. It's bigger, much bigger than all these earbuds here. So it's very difficult to use the Sony in the gym. The Sony are great earbuds when it comes to just walking around the street going to places, traveling in the bus, uh, train, airplane, is great. But when it comes to exercises, the size are big, the bulky, heavy in the ear. You can wear the, it's difficult to wear the Sony all day. The Sennheiser is all right to wear it all day. The Galaxy Bot is the best when it comes to using it 
all day without any issue and when it comes to the size the galaxy buds pro is my number one so small it's so light it fits so good in the ear one big advantage for the galaxy buds pro is the fact that it has an ipx7 water and dust resistant which means you can take it out when it rain it has no problem with it even when you're sweating in the gym, the water goes on it or sweat goes on it. There is nothing to worry about because it has a very good IPX7 water and dust resistant. The Sennheiser also is good. It has an IPX4 water and dust splash because Sennheiser said it's a, plash, a splash proof. It's not a water. I mean, you cannot submerge it, but the Galaxy Buds Pro, you can submerge it in the water for up to 30 minutes, which is amazing. It's great. But the Sony has no waterproofing. So the Sony is something that you can even take it out when it, there's a little splash of water. You cannot use it when you're sweaty and you can, can never use it when it's raining. Yeah. And for the charging case, the Galaxy Buds Pro also win because it has the smallest charging case here. Second, the Sennheiser and Sony. Third, Sony has the biggest charging case. And... We're going to talk about the battery life because some people say the size do matter because the size means more battery life but in this case it's the opposite i'm going to explain to you guys later in the video but when it comes to the charging case i'm going to say the galaxy buds pro is the best much smaller easy to fit into any hands easy to fit into any bag you can fit it in your pocket it doesn't take it's not chunky when you put it in your pocket it's just so small oh man i mean seeing this thing in person I was so impressed when I saw it in person. I was like, whoa, it's much smaller than what I thought. I mean, seeing it in videos, photos, I thought it was big. But seeing it in person, really small. And I love it. It's just so square. No more simple design. The Sennheiser has a cloth design, which looks premium. It looks stylish. But I think it's, I mean, as you can see, mine is attracting a lot of, the, it's much dirtier now. It attracts a lot of fingerprint. It's changing colors because it's cloth. And I cannot wash it. I cannot put it in the washing machine and try to clean it. It's hard to clean it. The Sony is just very simple, silicone, plastic, and very big. And all these earbuds are very similar because they comes with USB Type-C input for charging. All of them. You can charge all three earbuds with USB Type-C. And the Galaxy Buds Pro, it's still a winner here because you can charge the Galaxy Buds Pro wirelessly. Either you can use the USB Type-C input for charging or a wireless charger and talking about the battery life these three true wireless earbuds have fantastic battery life i mean like there is nothing to complain about the battery life of these earbuds right here they are really good you can't complain buying any of them when it comes to the battery life but if i have to pick the winner i'm gonna say the sennheiser is a clear winner because it has seven hours of battery life on a single charge on each earbud with active noise cancelling on. Eight hours with active noise cancelling off. That's from the earbuds. The Galaxy Buds Pro has five hours with active noise cancelling on, seven hours with active noise cancelling off. The Sony has six hours with active noise cancelling on, eight hours with active noise cancelling off. So three of them are great earbuds when it comes to battery life. They are really good. But the winner is Sennheiser, second, Sony, third, the Galaxy Buds Pro. And when it comes to the earbuds and the charging case, you can have up to 28 hours from the Sony, both the earbud and the charging case. 24 hours from the Sony WF-1000XM3 from the earbud and the charging case. And also 28 hours from the Galaxy Buds Pro from the earbud and the charging case. And if you are like me, the number one reason for buying this earbud is the sound quality. Then secondly, the active noise cancelling. But first, let's talk about the sound quality. And I'm going to be honest with you guys because I've been using the Sony much longer than the Sennheiser and the Sennheiser much longer than the Galaxy Buds Pro. The Galaxy Buds Pro, as I mentioned earlier, I've used it for five days, but five days constantly. I use just the Galaxy Buds Pro for five days now. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, the Sennheiser is my number one. It's still my number one. And the Sony, number two. The Galaxy Buds Pro, number three. Let me explain. 
The Sennheiser, the reason why I love the Sennheiser so much is because the sound quality is incredible. Now, when I mean incredible, I mean like top. And the reason is because the sound quality is great at every level. It doesn't matter where you put it. 100% is fantastic. 10% fantastic. The bass is perfect. The bass is deep bass. It's not the muffling bass. Now it's perfect bass. Secondly, Sony. The Sony also have so much bass, like deep bass. But the thing with Sony is that when you're pushing up the volume toward 100%, like toward 80, 85%, 90%, 100%, there's just so much uh, muffling. It doesn't sound good at, at that level. But when you're down like 50%, 60%, the Sony sounds good. But if you're pushing up, it's just the worst. The bass drop, there's no bass. It's just so much treble at that level, at a higher level. But the Sennheiser is just overall great, fantastic. The Galaxy Buds Pro, on the other hand, is good. As I mentioned on my last video, that if you are just coming from normal earbuds, if you have never used the Sennheiser or the Sony, or if you have never used high-end true wireless earbuds, even the Bose, then you, if the Galaxy Buds Pro is your first earbud, then you're gonna love it because it sounds good, good enough, but not great. It doesn't sound at the level of these two. The Galaxy Buds Pro sounds good even at 100%. There is no distortion. You have nice bass, not much bass, but nice, good treble. Everything is just balanced. The mids, the lows, the high, everything is balanced. The voice is crispy, clear. I mean, the fact that the Galaxy Buds Pro are tuned by AKG, it sounds good, but not great. Not at the level of the Sennheiser and the Sony. And for my second reason for buying all these earbuds here, the active noise cancelling, I'm going to say the Sony wins slightly over the Sennheiser here. The active noise cancelling of the Sony. It's funny. I mean, like when I tell people that the, as the active noise cancelling of the Sony is slightly better, like slightly, little bit better than the Sennheiser, everybody like say, really? Because some most people think in the Sennheiser, but I've tested these two, these two earbuds for a long period of time. I've used them driving car, I've used them driving motorbike, I've taken them to a train station, to the airport, to most noisy places. I realized the Sony is slightly better. And the reason is simple, because the Sony has a much longer ear tips, as you can see right here. They are much longer. So it goes so well in the ear, better than the Sennheiser. Look at that of the Sennheiser, you see? So the Sony goes deep in your ear and it blocks so much amount of noise. That's the reason why I'm gonna say the, Sen the Sony has better active noise canceling, slightly better than the Sennheiser, but much better than the Galaxy Buds Pro. The Galaxy Buds Pro is number three. It has a good active noise canceling, but not great. And it has a much customizable active noise cancelling because you can set it either on high active noise cancelling or low active noise cancelling. This other two earbuds doesn't have that settings, but on the Galaxy Buds Pro, you can set it if you want to use high active noise cancelling. But even at the high active noise cancelling, it doesn't compare with that of the Sony or the Sennheiser. And when it comes to making calls, which is another reason for most people buying the true wireless earbuds making calls, especially people who love to talk on the phone for a long period of time. True wireless earbuds are the best. The winner here is the Galaxy Buds Pro. When it comes to making calls, the Galaxy Buds Pro sounds so good. Crisp, clear, no distortion, and the active noise cancelling stay on even when you're making calls. And it also has a very nice system of blocking out the wind. So if you're making calls in a windy, in a, in a windy in environment, the Galaxy Buds Pro is gonna be the perfect because it blocks out all the wind so that it doesn't come to your ear, you hear so good the person talking to you. Another reason is because it has three microphones. So there are three microphones on each earbud on the Galaxy Buds Pro, which receive your voice so good. I mean, like I make calls talking to friends, my wife, everybody said is really good. And the second earbud that is good for making calls is 
the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 2. It's also very good, but not as good as the Galaxy Buds Pro. The Sony is the worst when it comes to making calls. I'm not saying the worst in a bad way, like, like trash, no. It's all right, it's okay when it comes to making calls, but the, the, the worst thing about a Sony is the fact that when you pick up the call, the active noise cancelling just goes off. There is no active noise cancelling when you're making calls, which means all the noise from the outside get in your ear. You hear everything, all the noise around. It's hard to really concentrate on the voice. All these earbuds are compatible with Android and iOS. That means if you have an iPhone or you have Android smartphones, you can use this earbud without any issue. And the good thing is all three of them have their dedicated applications that you can download on your phone and it helps you to customize the earbuds or you can do a lot of things from the app. But my favorite, the earbud that has the best application is the Sony WF-1000XM3. The reason is because the Sony has plenty of features, like a lot of features. You can customize so much from the earbud on the app. The second is the Sennheiser. The third is the Galaxy Buds Pro. The Sony has amazing EQ. The equalizer on the Sony, oh wow, it's the best in any true wireless earbud. You can do so much with it. The Sennheiser equalizer is all right, but not the best. The Galaxy Buds Pro just have presets. There is no manual setting on the EQ, on the equalizer. Everything is just the preset. You just have to choose from the list, either dynamic, uh, bass boost, treble boost, or no more. I'm gonna end this video by saying these three true wireless earbuds here are great. You can't go wrong buying any of them, but if you are new in the active in the true wireless earbuds, if you are, if this is the first time of buying a true wireless earbud and you don't want to spend too much money, go with the Galaxy Buds Pro. Is you're gonna love it because it has nice quality sound. I mean, all all overall good quality sound even though it doesn't have that much bass but everything about it is good the sennheiser is the most expensive but number one everybody anybody who buy the sennheiser just automatically love it fell in love with it but if you need something that's much more cheaper then you have to go with the sony but it doesn't have anything no ip and no ip rating it doesn't have any great features any modern features because it's an old earbud since 2019 but it's still one of the best in the market and the price is much cheaper yeah and that's all about this video thank you all for watching if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button turn the notification for more videos more great videos coming up on bigfield tv until then see you into the next one peace